why such a crowd? The circus has come to town. These are troubled times. Brothers turn against brothers. Russia has had enough bloodshed. The violence must stop. When socialists attempt to divide Russia and her subject nations, to dent the sword that smote the enemy at Grunwald, this demands my decisive action. Thus, by my grace, I hereby appoint as Governor General of Warsaw, Georgi Antonovich Skawon. A butcher. Not a popular guy, I presume. I see you ain't from here. That swine keeps a photo album of all the folks he's had shot at the Citadel. Before and after execution. Well, so! The time for leniency and indulgence is over! From the moment this office is bestowed on me, all forces hostile to the subjects of Greater Russia will have any further right to exist! None! Whether it be brutal socialist subversives, communists, Jews, or other satanic provocators! She knows how to unite a crowd. Pardon me, are you Polish? I was born in Warsaw, but I'm lapsed. My name is Victor. Wanda. This is Russia here. Like it or not, Warsaw! Premia Terrora! Zakoizos! My first decision as Governor General of Warsaw, Aristobat. Great heroes in their sense of timing. Of course, now they're the first ones in the fight. Samo bladanie, Polyaki. We want that rebel. The Loudmouth. Damn. What happened? Be a gentleman. Please kneel and tie my shoe. That seems more like a job for the servants, young lady. Go ahead. Look down. Can I ask you a tiny favor? The Russians can't find out about this. The military is just looking for an excuse to suppress the crowd, and these workers are dreaming of thrashing a Russian gendarme. Either one of you confesses to disturbing the peace, or see Xavirai. We'll take you all in. You can't handle all of us. Can you get us out of here? I think I'm open to any kind of suggestion. With a book like that, I'd find out what would convince one of these bastards to let us go. Or I'd take on that self-appointed leader of the proletariat. Interesting strategy. Who are you, really? A damsel in distress. Those don't usually hide ammunition in their stockings. Can I explain it to you another time? I'm going to take a look around. Do you think it's a good idea to stir people up and send them to face bullets and bayonets? What do you want then? My whole life on my knees? Kissing Ruski's ass? Mm. 
I was trying to keep from dragging ordinary people into the fight. They won't expect us to strike first. How many are coming with us? Let's see for ourselves. Szulski, Wiktor. One of those Szulskis? Yes. My condolences. Now, profile. Thank you.
What are you pissing in the bucket for, asshole? Where else am I supposed to? Brown in the bucket, whiz on the wall. You better remember that, too. That bucket's gonna last you guys till tomorrow. Can I use the phone? What are you staring at, Genef? I don't know what that means. Quit squealing. First time in the big city? Have some respect if you don't know who you're running your mouth at. He's one of them that went after the Ruskies with his bare fists. For being innocent. Same as all of us. Well, are you from somebody? My name's Viktor Shulski, and I work on my own behalf. All right. Respect. First of all, I am a Thaumaturge. Now them, I got respect for. I know one really decent Jew from Povishla, who's a wizard too. How about you? You got a foreskin or what? Is my foreskin any of your fucking business? Well, no. I, I was just... Schmuck. But you don't look like much of a Warsaw lad. I'm just here for my father's funeral. I hope you don't miss the funeral toast. Welcome to Warsaw. call you a master strategist. You got away from the station, so theoretically, we achieved our goal. You're not losing your sense of humor. I guess this isn't your first time in a place like this, is it? I spent a little time on the Rue de la Raquette in Paris. It got demolished five years ago. Oui. What about you? You seem to know your way around this setting. You've been here often? I'll take that as a compliment. And sure, sometimes, if the cause demands it. What cause? Let's say I know certain folks who'd find poles like you useful. Dealers in stolen Dutch pomade? Donut connoisseurs. They met at Burke Rotblitz's cafe. I don't want to jinx it, but do you spend time there too? If I'm not there, no one will want to talk to you. And don't worry, I don't usually hang out long in places like this. Shulski! I see you won't be hanging out here long either. Shulski, this yours? That's right. Then take it and get out of here. Thank you.
I'm sure you don't remember me. My name's Hayat, Mordechai Hayat. I wanted to offer my condolences. Thank you. Please, forgive my prying. I know Mr. Shulsky took nitroglycerin for his heart, but how did he pass away? Was that his cause of death? His heart? We've ruled out any coronary causes since the doctors couldn't confirm whether the deceased had a heart. Yes, I, I understand. My condolences, once again. I'll leave you alone. I'm sure you want to bid farewell to your father. I think I ought to arrest you, Taumaturg. I haven't done anything, officer. What's the problem? I barely recognize you either. You still haven't figured out who I am? Don't be surprised. The last time we saw one another was 20 kilos ago. <laughs> Uncle Veronian? I will not keep you. The guy's probably all alone back there, among those vultures circling Stasio. I'm sure she'll be glad to see you. Go on. We'll talk later. Sister? Victor. I'm so glad you came. I wasn't sure if my telegram had reached you. I'm glad too. How are you holding up? All oh, this caught me off guard, but... For, for now, I don't have time to think things through calmly. Look at yourself. What happened? Have you written to Mother? Yes, but... <laughs> What can you expect? You know what Nadia is like. It was never her style to show up for family events like this. It's getting late. And we've still got the reading of Papa's will ahead of us at home. And I'll leave you two alone. I suppose you've got your own matters to clear up. Fine. Let's get this over with. So, it was me who got it right in the end. Back then, on the train platform, was the last time we saw one another. Fifteen years ago. Farewell, father. Am I intruding? I was reflecting at the grave of my beloved father. You tricked me. I heard something else. Stanislav and I were acquainted. You might say I knew everything about your father. Mr. Viktor Shulsky, isn't it? Your absence from Warsaw has happily come to an end, I hope. With all due respect, this is my personal business. It was my father who knew you, 
not me. True. Please forgive me. I meant no harm. Again, my condolences. I didn't catch your name. My name's Konechkin. Ivan Konechkin. Goodbye. Such interesting friends you had. <sighs> I, I guess I'm more tired than I thought. Great grandmother Yusefina, a thaumaturge. Grand. The hardest thing was getting the rid of the urn. The scattering I could handle. You can play the clown, but I know how much this has cost you. I'm glad you went. Love at a funeral? Eros postmortem? Is it suitable for a young lady in mourning to fraternize with bachelors? Constantia Shabowska, the Warsaw Courier. Could I ask for a brief comment? Aina. Thank you. And you, sir? We're twins, my dear lady. The Shulskis reunited. You don't look like a horrid cripple. Why did you leave Warsaw so quickly? Don't tell her anything. She'll write whatever she wants anyway. And we'd better get going. I suggest you leave. Otherwise, I'll overlook your womanhood and make sure you can never pronounce a single syllable correctly again. You'd permit that to happen, Judge? Maybe I should write about this. And who would let you print it? Someday the press will get the Russian boot off its neck, Judge. I'm afraid none of us will live to see the day, my dear. Come on, children. I'm sure my Pietia is already waiting for us at home. I'd love to see my cousin. Are you coming with us? Thanks. Get in. I'm sure the lawyer is already waiting for us. 